What's up guys, Peak here again, I'm back with another video and this one is a Cypher setup video featuring my favorite setups for all maps, all points, attacker and defending side. Attacker side is usually to shut down flanks and take map control while defender side is to stop enemies from entering the chokes. In this video you'll see how to position, how to set up your camera, cages and trap wires. So we got everything in the video, that's why it's a bit long and I hope you guys don't mind that. I timestamped everything for you so you have chapters here on YouTube. Don't forget to leave a comment, let me know what you think, subscribe to the channel and also if you want to see what it looks like when I play live and use these live against immortal players then head over to twitch.tv slash ghostpeak and leave a follow there and you know when I go live. Thanks so much for watching guys, hope you guys enjoy this and I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Let's start with a site. I usually put the camera somewhere here. You can put it anywhere, sometimes even go above the roof like that. It gives a bit more the same color so that the contrast for the camera is more difficult to see. As long as you can see those three areas, that's fine. Then I jump up on the box, line up my crosser like this, and then look straight up between those houses. That's where the first one is, that's where the second one is, and then you have two of them. Trap wire goes like this pretty much always use this one because it forces the enemies to use an ability or walk in slowly in order to shoot it and that's when you have the camera and one way to fight back with next up is the second trap wire usually you're weak against enemies coming from main and catwalk at the same time so you want to set up this trap wire to stop any enemies coming from catwalk next when it's time to fight, you can activate your cages by sitting far back like this, either there, or you can sit back there. I recommend starting out by the box because if you sit in here, it's a very small angle so I don't like that. When you see enemies on your camera, or you hear them, or they trigger your trap wire, position there, activate cage, and just shoot. Then for the right side, you can use this box here, and now we can fight in the back. Or you can position by the generator and you have this angle. Then you're also protected by the corner here for the generator. Just watch out for mollies, nades or shock bolts. Let's go over my B setup. I have a one way lineup like this. You stand in the stairs, aim there. That's one. And then you aim to the island. That's the second one. It can be a bit complicated to do this one, but you still get two of them. And instead of that position, sit in the corner right there and then aim exactly like I do or if you use 1080p resolution you can use the UI and line up with that line then for the right side if you want to do the lineup with the UI you use that line or aim there right on the island then we have the camera I like to put it there you can see the enemies walk in they need to take an awkward position to shoot it out and you have control of spawn, market and sight. Then a trap wire that goes here. You want to put it at this height because it makes it so that the enemies can't jump over it or crouch under it. The second trap wire goes here. That's in case enemies run past your smoke and they trigger it, you can wall bang through the wall. When you see an enemy, Thing, activate your cage and then just shoot and use the corner of the wall as cover you see how the right side here is very narrow very little protection there's a small room there i recommend using the right side one way that way you can fall back to spawn if you have to if you're an attacker there's two trap wires that i like to do one here that's to stop enemies coming from b in case you're going midway or enemies coming from A or spawn in case you go B. You can also do one in mid, like this. It's not super necessary, oh, but in case you're all rushing B, totally works. A is a bit more tricky. If you have enemies coming from A and you want to go B Here. and mid, Here. well, then you trap wire on the box, like this. And you don't want to trap wire by gelato because enemies can jump up on the tables and climb over the wall. So that's why that one goes there. If you are worried about enemies coming from mid or B to A, you trap by here. And that makes it so that enemies can't use that box in order to jump over. 
the only thing they can do is use the bike to yes. jump over from A. So that's why you yeah. need to do this one only if you go to A, not the other way around. Let's go to split. If I'm not against a jet player, I set up a trap wire here. Otherwise, I wouldn't set it up because I would need it in case they hard push on B. My favorite site with my favorite camera. Jump up here. That's the best camera you can have on B. You can see the enemies walk in and they need to walk in in order to shoot it down. And then let's do the smoke. I usually go for this one way. I hug the wall, walk to the side a bit, and then aim on the wood. It's 100% consistent. When it comes to the trap wire, you can set it up like that, but most players, they pre fire that. So the only time I use it is if I leave B site. You don't need that one because you have the camera and the one-way smoke to keep an eye on your trap wire. So instead of that, when I can keep an eye on my trap wire, I go for that one. Because this one forces the enemy to use an ability to clear it or walk out slowly in order to shoot it. And that allows you to use the camera, activate the smoke and shoot them. Here's what it looks like. You see their feet. And all you have to do is just stand on the stairs. Then you can also position in the back here. The enemies have an easier time to see you, but it's still effective. That's good if enemies are using needs against you. Here is a backup position. This one works well when the enemies want to nade you, shock bolt you, throw mollies over here. That's a way to counter you. And here's what it looks like from enemies' perspective. If they back up, they can see you. So be mindful. Use the camera to your advantage and I've activated the smokes when you see the enemies. So here's my A setup. I use this camera to see if enemies are pushing up early or if they're shooting down the camera, I use a camera on the left tower yeah. in order to see yeah. if they're committing to A. Yeah. The, the only way to shoot it down is by committing to A and with this one, they can fake going A if they shoot it down. That's the camera. And you see enemies coming in main or ramp. Yeah. Here's how I set up my one-way. Aim there, walk in, and then aim on that spot and slightly down to that edge. And then you just throw the cage. You can also set up a trap wire underneath and that will help you a lot. Then a trap wire here for enemies that wanna push up ramp. You can also smoke it. They can't jump over it and they can't crouch under it. I recommend using the camera. When you see the enemies in the camera, activate the smoke and you see their legs like that. And then you can also smoke here. On attack side, you have two trap wires. You use that one, stops anyone coming from A or anyone going to A. On B, it's very common to set up this trap wire. It is not a good trap wire though. The reason for that is because enemies can jump over it. And you can do that by using the box here. You can jump up on the box just by jumping like that, sneak past it, and now you have access to spawn and mid. So instead of that, I recommend setting up your trap wire in main or in mid link. Yeah. Now we're bind. I like to place the camera in hookah when I want to go for the headshot spot towards Hookah. It's one of my favorite spots. So place the camera there. You see enemies walking in. You can tag them. And then a trap wire on the cushion here. This one makes it so that enemies have to walk in slowly in order to destroy it or crouch and walk slowly. That allows you to shoot from that spot and headshot. I also go for a smoke here and then set up a trap wire there in case enemies come from long. The one weakness you have here is enemies coming from long. So make sure you have a teammate holding for you on long. When enemies walk in, you can tag them and wall bang, or you can just show yourself and shoot them in the head. Very easy. And then if I don't want to go for that, I have another spot, camera up there. You see enemies coming from long, as well as enemies dropping out from window. Your setup is going to be for elbow. So set up the trap wires like that, one there, 
and then you want to smoke in front of elbow in order to hide your shots and that way enemies can't really see your position so when enemies walk in you can either shoot them or you can use the camera in order to tag them ping them activate smoke and let them trigger their trap wire and then you shoot them and then re-smoke in case you need to another smoke and that's it if you want to play default just standard cypher trap wire in the window trap wire here and along and then smoke both sides and you play behind the site. Don't forget that you want a camera that can see long and window. I usually go for this one. In case I'm playing A site, I like this camera. It allows me to see bathroom and short. After that, I go for a short setup with a one way. I have a lineup. There's a video for it as well. And then you aim right there, send out the cage, and now you have a good one way. Then a trap wire that goes there. It can be a bit tricky with Ray's boom bot, but it works. And then if you want to be really sure that nobody jumps over it, just place it a bit further up, like this on that side. The negative part here is that it's a bit more exposed. Then for bathroom, I go for one way here, right like that. And that's because I have a positioning that enables me to use the one way for bathroom and short really well, right there. So if enemies are coming bathroom or short, I can activate either one way. Also got to remember the trap wire. Make sure that you check the camera, see the enemies, activate the cage, and then you can shoot where you see their feet. And the same goes for bathroom. Cage triggered. It's a really nice lineup and you can have a Cage very safe positioning for both of them. If you're on the attacker side, I recommend a trap wire here. It stops the enemies coming from bathroom to A short or from A short to bathroom. And also, if enemies want to take the teleporter, they have to walk around or destroy the trap wire. Another one is here. I always use this one. It's a really good one because enemies that are coming from A to B or B to A, they have to go through this trap wire and it gives you a lot of good information. Next up is Haven. Out on the window here, place the camera there. And now you have an aggressive camera looking at long and short. Then we go for the trap wire, one on ramp, and you want it to be a trap wire that enemies can jump over or crouch under. And that's in case you have to rotate from A to C or B. Cage, as well as a trap wire here. And there we go. You can also put the cage a bit further out in case they destroy the trap wire and they play quick. And then you can sit behind boxes here or up in heaven. I like to sometimes sit by the boxes, activate smoke, shoot. Same like this. And I can call for help. Or I can fall back. In window, I sit like this, I shoot. And remember that you can wall bang every, every part of the wall. So even if you get raise nades against your mollies, smokes, whatever, you can fall back and wall bang. I play B only on rare occasions. I go for that trap wire, camera, and smoke. There's nothing special to do on B, and that's why I don't play B that often. But you activate smoke, you can shoot like that, you can be on the other side. And camera can go anywhere pretty much. For C. Now that's the better side. Jump up here. Camera there. This camera is specifically for a one way. And you can see the enemies very early on. Your trap wire on the wall here. You can go for a late trap wire. Or a slightly earlier trap wire. You can place it further down. Or at that height. It depends on if they use a raise boom bot. You hug the wall here. Back up. And aim at the wood. Once you see that line on the window, place the smoke like that. Then you go for a trap wire in the garage, like that. And it allows you to place it at a great height, where enemies can jump over it or crouch under it. And now, you position on the wood, look into the camera, and once you see the enemies walk in, you just activate the smoke and shoot. I also have a more defensive positioning or setup. Camera there, that's a very defensive camera. The trap wire stays the same, 
but now we can add one here for the default plant. This one is very nice when enemies are rushing. Smokes like that. You don't need anything for garage because you have the camera and that corner to help you. Smoke when they come in, shoot, and then you can use that corner again. Smoke here in case they come in. And that way you can protect yourself from garage or just enemies running in from long. Here's good trap wires as an attacker. These ones I always use. This one stops enemies coming from A to spawn. It doesn't stop enemies coming from spawn to A. So instead I go for that one when we push A here. They can't come from spawn to A without shooting it or triggering it. Then we have one for C long that goes here. And you can't even jump over it using the boxes. And that's pretty much it guys. Hope you guys enjoyed these setups. Let me know what you think. Hope you guys have a great day. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.